Hello everybody, Hooded Core Commander 788 here. It's time for the donation unboxing for July 2019, and you guys sent me a lot of stuff. Uh, this is the first one of these unboxing videos that I've done from my new studio, so we're going to give this a try, see how it works. I want to start the video with my usual disclaimer, but I want to say a little more. YouTube channels accepting donations from viewers is done kind of all the time. It's kind of a standard practice now. I watch a lot of YouTube channels that do it, and not just like toy review channels. There's a movie review channel that also takes donations from viewers. And uh, so it's just kind of become a standard practice. But it was something that I was reluctant to start doing on this channel because I don't want anyone to feel like they have to send stuff to me, uh, that I'm asking for things. And when people would send me an email saying they wanted to send something to, to me, I would always caution them to you know, make sure that you really want to because you do not have to send anything to me. I'm not asking for donations. I never ask for donations. Um, so I would always try to make absolutely certain that that person wanted to send something to the channel and didn't feel like they had to. And that is still the case. You should never feel like you have to send something to me. In fact, if there's any thought in your mind that uh, this channel is not the right place to, to send things or it's not a worthy home for whatever you want to donate, then please don't send it. Um, I uh, really am happy to just have you watching the videos. And so nobody should feel like they have to send stuff to me in order to be a friend of the channel or to be noticed and appreciated by me. There are lots of good friends of the channel that have never sent anything in, uh, and you don't have to. I did want to say something about how donations are handled. The movie review channel that I was talking about, and which will remain unnamed, um, they get uh, stuff from their fans and they don't seem to care or appreci appreciate it. They comment about how, how some things are kind of weird and maybe the person who sent it is kind of weird and I, I just think that's rude and I'm not going to do that. I, I don't think that's the right way to uh, to show appreciation for something that someone has gone through the trouble to send to you because they like your show. So if you have a YouTube channel and you get things from your viewers, you know, don't be that guy. And as far as the things that are sent to me, I want to assure you that they are appreciated. Um, I, I take them as like personal gifts and so I, I, I really uh, hold them dear to my heart. Please be aware that whatever you do send, if you choose to send something, is truly appreciated. And having said all that, uh, if you do want to send something to the channel, I will put the address on the screen now. Uh, with the caveat that you should never feel like you have to send something. Uh, if I get something sometime in the next month, then we'll do another one of these unboxing videos. If I don't get anything, then I just won't do one, and that's fine. Uh, but the important thing is that we are going on this journey together. We are enjoying G.I. Joe toys together. Uh, kind of like when we were kids, you know, you, you enjoy these toys with your friends, with your neighborhood friends, with your school friends. Well, this is a little different because we're enjoying things together through the internet. But that's what it's really about. If I do get anything from anyone, uh, I'll make sure to show it on camera so I can express my thanks for it. Let's get started. Uh, you may notice that I have cut open the boxes and the envelopes uh, just to make it easier for me to pull things out on camera, but I have not looked inside to see what's in them. So uh, I'm going to start with some letters. I got three letters like in letter envelopes uh, so that's really cool and I'm just going to uh, open them up and see what's in here okay I want to do this without showing the address of the person who sent it and this person though um, has a nice big HTC 788 on the front uh, that's very nice and uh, a Jimi Hendrix stamp and it says, I just wanted to share the watchtower. From my watchtower review, uh, and on the back, there's some writing. It says, Bob Dylan famously sings all along the watchtower and maybe less litigious than the Hendrix estate. All right, this is about my review of the watchtower. Um, I really wanted to use the song 
all along the Watchtower by Jimi Hendrix, but n no matter how short the clip was, it still got caught up in Content ID, and so I just couldn't use it. So maybe I could have used the Bob Dylan uh, version, which uh, wouldn't be a bad idea. I think the only reason that... Uh, I was just short on time, so I was trying to rush to get that video ready. Um, but if I'd had a little bit more time, maybe I could have grabbed the Bob Dylan version um, and uh, used that one instead. Jimi Hendrix was assigned to the uh, 101st Airborne Division. Could he have joined G.I. Joe? What would his code name have been? What would his code name have been? Purple Haze. Huh? One thing I really regret about the Watchtower review is that uh, for the accessories on the Watchtower, I grabbed the wrong ones. I got extra accessories for the 83 headquarters um, and that were green, and the Watchtower accessories and flag are supposed to be gray. And so I totally screwed up that review. I have been trying to find the opportunity to fix it because I do have the correct accessories for the Watchtower. Um, so there really should be an update to that review. Some mistakes that I make on reviews uh, I don't think are all that important and I can like make a comment or something and, and just let everybody know that this should be different. On that though, that's a more a fundamental mistake um, which I really regret. So uh, the Watchtower review, someday in the future I want to actually do an update. But I digress. Let's take a look at R. Wilson's letter and it is an actual letter handwritten on paper. Uh, this says, uh, okay to read my name, I'm not in witness protection. Okay, so it's okay to read the name of Rob Wilson. And this is a nicely written, very good penmanship, uh, but a long letter. So I'm going to pause this just for a moment so that I can read it really quick. Okay, Rob, I have read your letter. I'm not going to read the whole thing on the camera, but uh, just to give a gist of it. Uh, first of all, thank you for your kind words. And he has quite a lot to say here about James DeSimone. Uh, and we got to talk about James DeSimone just for a second. Uh, James DeSimone, uh, I guess apparently somebody had posted um, a comment on one of the online Joe communities saying that the DeSimone guide was trash. Um, and had, uh, I guess, sent a picture of a, a dumpster on fire. Uh, that is extremely disrespectful to James DeSimone. Uh, I, Rob, you are right. I talk a lot about uh, the G.I. Joe fan community, and James DeSimone, uh, you, you state correctly here that he kept the community alive and kept interest alive uh, during some very lean years. And um, yeah, I think a lot of people consider him to be a super collector. And he did create a guide to completing three and three quarter inch G.I. Joe figures. In fact, I have it. I'm gonna get it right now. Hold on. Right here it is. The official collector's guide to collecting and completing uh, your G.I. Joe figures and accessories. Uh, this guide by James DeSimone was created when the G.I. Joe toy line was still going. I mean, this was, uh, this only goes up to 93, I believe. It doesn't have 94 in here because 94 wasn't out yet. You have to understand the history of this thing. This was a Bible for collectors at the time. Uh, it just has like photos of the figures and their accessories. It doesn't have information about uh, like variants, but I mean, keep in mind that a lot of the variations that we're aware of now, uh, those got kind of discovered and cataloged later. This, this was when this stuff was going on, you know, when it was actually, uh, a lot of it was still on the pegs and on the shelves. Uh, James DeSimone, he, he ran some G.I. Joe conventions uh, before there was a Joe Con. And his contribution to the fan community really can't be understated. Uh, I've never met him, although Rob says that he met him one time, and that is awesome. Um, I did hear that he was in poor health. Um, I hope he's all right. Uh, you know, I hope he was able to pull through. But he was liquidating his G.I. Joe collection uh, just, you know, to try to take that burden off of his family. That is someone that, if, if he is still alive, uh, if he is in good enough health to attend any G.I. Joe function, I would love to meet him. Um, and it is just absolutely false that that this guide is somehow worthless. I've used it. Uh, you can still use it. 
Uh, it doesn't have the variation information, but it has just a lot of really quick references to what accessories go with what figures. So um, thank you, James De Simone, who will probably never see this, but thank you anyway. And thank you, Rob, for appreciating the history of this very important person uh, in the G.I. Joe fan community and history. Okay, I mentioned uh, before how cool it is to get letters and like nobody sends letters to anyone these days. Well, I got letters, actual letters. And uh, just to let you know, as with Rob's letter, I'm keeping all of these. All of these, I have a, a space for them and they will all be kept for as long as I'm alive. I will never give up these letters. These are from you and uh, these are uh, special to me and thank you. This is, oh, this says open me first. So I'm going to open that first. And this says, uh, my good hooded Cobra Commander 788. I hope you're doing well. I am, thank you. I may be too late for it, but encloses my contribution to Cobra Convergence 4. A little bit too late, but you know what? Why not? We'll just, think, I got the t shirt on. That was totally a coincidence, but hey, it works out. A tech spec of my most fave Cobra jet uh, and its pilot. Sound familiar? Sorry, it's the best I can do, but I hope it, you like it anyway. Only Cobra is Cobra. Uh, Chris, Centaur 71 Mayor. So Centaur 71, thank you. And he sends, uh, he sent something like this before. I know what this is. I know this is, ah, yes. It's the Strato Viper. Uh, hold on, let me, he's got like a nice photo of like a, Strato Viper cosplay there, um, a file name, various. So it's like this is like a file card, but it's like an extended file card with like all this information. This is cool. Now, this is too much for me to read on camera, but I just love the amount of detail that has gone into this. Look at this. It's got like technical stuff. Uh, it's uh, this is just an amazing uh, attention to detail, and you know what? Great. This is, this will be actually the the final uh, entry of Cobra Convergence Four. So there you go. The final entry of Cobra Convergence Four is a paper one, a real tangible one. Uh, so thank you, Centaur Seventy One, for this. And I'm gonna look over this in more detail uh, as soon as I'm done with this here. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I didn't see all of it. There's more. There, okay, yes, okay. It's the uh, Cobra Raven Tech Specs. And I think I saw, yeah, we've got nice photography uh, and just so much detail. This is great attention to detail. Oh yeah, and it includes the, the blueprints. It's so impressive how much detail you put into this. So yes, here it is, uh, Strato Viper and the Night Raven, uh, the final, final entrance of Cobra Convergence 4. And we have one final other letter here. Uh, there we go. Could have cut that a little bit better, but we have the important thing is what's inside the envelope. And my goodness, okay, this is, this is quite a long letter. Let me see, this is from this is from James. So James, thank you for sending this. I'm sorry, I wasn't quite sure about your signature, but James, thank you. Uh, this is this is a long letter, so I'm gonna again pause this so I can read it. Okay, James, I had to break out the uh, reading glasses for this one. Uh, it is a long letter. Uh, it's a very personal letter, so I I won't read it uh, on camera, but I will say. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm so glad that you found the channel, um, and uh, thank you for your kind words. Uh, thank you uh, for the service of your family, and uh, I'm, I hope that uh, I hope that every day you know gets better for you. I I can completely sympathize with your story. Um, some of my story is similar to yours, so I, I have a, a lot of sympathy for that. Um, uh, for those who haven't made it through all of my videos, there was an occasion where I was dealing with some mental health issues that uh, might have caused me to just shut down the channel. Um, I was able to make it through that with some help. Um, what some of you also may not know is that my previous job was in dealing entirely with mental health. Uh, one thing that I hope we can do is kind of destigmatize that because one problem that 
people that have mental health issues run into is that you know you get discouraged sometimes or even shamed for getting help for it so if you have those kinds of issues i hope that you do reach out and get the help that you need uh it makes a big difference and never feel ashamed for that and never won't let anyone else make you feel ashamed for it thank you so much for this um it's a very personal letter uh i uh, it's an emotional letter so i think i'll pause for a few more minutes uh, before I move on, uh, but uh, this is something that means a lot to me and I will keep this letter with me forever. Thank you. Thank you for the letters. Thank you sincerely for the letters. Um, if there's any criticism from anyone about me accepting things uh, from viewers uh, based on the letters that I just received and just read, I don't care because that's, that's special. And uh, because of things like that, I'm just not gonna stop doing it. I, I love hearing from you. Okay, let's move on to this because it's on top. Um, and let's see, it says handle with care. And remember, handling with care is half the battle. Handle with care. Um, and when I did receive this, um, there, was, there was a slight tear right here. So the post office didn't handle it with perfect care, but it seems to be all intact. Um, I did cut one end open so I can pull it out. And let's see what we have. Ooh, and we have another letter. Let's see what this says. It's from Dave Stelzer. Stelzer, I'm trying to say it correctly. It's difficult for me to pronounce some words. I'm from Oklahoma. So Dave, thank you. Uh, this says, this says, one moment. Uh, I've been a G.I. Joe fan for a long time, something like 33 years or so. It's a pretty good run. Uh, for a while, my collection fell by the wayside. Life kind of got in the way, I understand. Came across yours in FormBX257's videos a few uh, years back, though, and it kind of brought back, uh, brought me back into the Joeverse. Cool, and FormBX257, a great channel and a great guy. The last couple months have been putting together a collection of my original figures, uh, what's left of them anyway, I understand. My original collection, just a few parts left. Uh, every week, I look forward to your videos. Thank you. Um, and not just because of the information, although they are incredibly informative, your videos make me feel like I'm part of a larger community. That's awesome. Um, it's a little corny, but it's true. Um, well, that's how I feel. So I, if it's corny, that's fine with me. So I just want to say thanks for the time and effort you put into your, uh, into your work. As a token of my appreciation, I sent a few things you may enjoy. Uh, they are numbered from one to four, open one first, and then so on. Okay, so there's a, a, a sequence to, to these. Uh, if you're ever in Baltimore, let me know. Uh, the first round of grape soda and chocolate covered donuts is on me, your friend uh, Dave. Uh, thank you, Dave. Uh, I uh, haven't, you know, I've never actually been to Baltimore, but I'd like to go. And so if I ever have a chance, uh, I'll look you up. You, uh, apparently, according to this, you owe me some grape soda. Uh, so thank you, uh, Dave. And that is another letter I'm going to keep. Um, and let's, um, let's see here, we have numbered packages. There's number one. That appears to be, no, I see number three. I don't want to hurt them here. I don't want to damage them. There's number three. That is number, oh, open last, number four. And so this must be number two. Let's see. Just because it's number two doesn't mean it is a number two. All right, so here's the order. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so I'm going to open these in the order that Dave said, and I'm going to open number one first. I'm going to tear through the paper because I actually don't have my knife handy to uh, cut the tape. So I'm going to just open the paper, <laughs> and I see what number one is. Oh, this is cool. Now, I haven't seen these for a while. It's, uh, it's Muscle Man. Check that out. It's Muscle Man, and it's, yeah, it's WWE, or WWF at the time, maybe, but it has, in it, it has Sergeant Slaughter. So, yes, now I have a Sergeant Slaughter Muscle Man, 
And yeah, he has his hat and everything and his whistle. I've never seen that before. <laughs> That's cool. So uh, so th that helps with my Sergeant Slaughter collection. Thank you, Dave. Uh, so now I'm going to move to number two. Number two. And uh, this ni very nicely wrapped. And it was packed really well. So even if the uh, Postal Service did not... Uh, handle it with care. It, it uh, was going to get here, I think, undamaged. It, uh, it, it's in good shape. So let's open number two. Oh, hey! Yes, okay, now check this out. Uh, this is a novel, you're going to like this, a novel, The Death of Captain America by Larry Hama. And, you know, beyond just G.I. Joe, I am a Larry Hama fan. Um, I just, I really appreciate the kind of work he puts into his writing. And here it is, a novel. And as much as I have read of his comic books, I don't think I've ever actually read uh, prose by Larry Hama. So that's really cool. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. I Some light readings that I can do in my spare hours. Thank you very much. And number three is a little one here. Uh, let me see, I'm going to tear along. Okay, looks like the best strategy is to tear along this edge. So let's tear carefully, carefully along that edge. I'm trying to tear carefully. Uh, but it's, it's well packed, well packed, nicely done, Dave. So there we go. All right, so we've opened it. And it is, it is, it is a figure uh oh chuckles version two custom okay hold on hold on all right look at that yep yep he did it he did it i've mentioned that uh mace would make a pretty darn good chuckles version two well he's gone and done a custom and see if i can get the focus a custom of chuckles this is chuckles version 2 custom using mace's body and chuckles head and pretty nice looking pistol there looks like a black version of uh shockwave's pistol nicely done sir nicely done much respect for this and number four which i am to open last uh, it is uh, time for number four and I want to, there's, it looks like whatever's in here is sealed in a plastic bag and I'm trying not to rip the plastic bag while I'm trying to rip the paper. And this is, oh, look at that. Um, Stalker version 3.5 custom. I gotta open this and show it to you and I gotta zoom this in again, hold on. This has taken the Talking Battle Commander's Stalker, which had like, yellow and cream color. I gotta make sure you can see this. Let me kind of move it out of the way. And it has repainted it in a very nice green. Look at that. That is, that's just, see, this is how I imagine that figure could have been with some updated colors. I mean, you just like took this right out of my imagination and made it real. A very nice custom. Very nice custom job, super cool. All right, awesome stuff from Dave. So let's now look at this envelope, which is from Joe. Uh, let's uh, pull this out here from Joe. And it's a flat object and it's nicely taped and I, I don't wanna damage it, but again, I forgot to bring my knife. After I cut everything open, I put my knife away like a schmuck instead of keeping it with me considering i would probably have to cut things i'm gonna get my knife i'll be right back okay now i have cut the tape carefully with the knife which i should have had handy before i started um and what we have from joe uh is oh, okay all right so uh joe curran uh who has a card in here i'm going to uh shouldn't need the knife for this i'm going to just pop that tape off. And we have some blueprints. Well, let's check this out. Joe Curran, uh, Joe Training Camp, who has uh, his card here. 
right there. And we have blueprints for the Mud Fighter. A very interesting little plane, a, a propeller driven plane. In the era of jets, it's a propeller driven plane, but it's one that's always intrigued me. Uh, so, blueprints for that. Thank you, Joe. As it happens, I do have the Mud Fighter and I have not reviewed it yet, so that will help me. Thank you, thank you very much for that, Joe. And this, this package here, which has some packing material, is, I think this is the biggest box. I probably should save it for last. Um, but uh, we have, we have a letter. We have another letter that I get to read and keep. Um, from DJ and Lindsay, so I'll go with that for your names, DJ. Uh, it says, uh, it says after I get my glasses so I can read it. Uh, if the print is large enough, I can read it fine, but uh, just to be sure on the smaller print, um, to make sure I can read it well. It says, thank you for having an amazing channel. Thank you very much. Uh, daughter and I are big fans. Hello to your daughter. Uh, she thinks uh, it's cool that dad played with toys and still gets excited about them. See, see, kids get it. Kids get it. Uh, she always asks if I owned the figure or vehicle after you reviewed it. She wants to know if they were my favorites. That's cool. See, that's a nice way uh, to connect with, with your kids. See, uh, talking about toys uh, that you had when you were their age. Uh, we were doing some cleaning out uh, at my mom's house and came across a few parts, file cards, and the Cobra Imp. A Cobra Imp! Um, oh, you told me! Yes, I remember this. So th you, this is what you said you were going to send, and you sent it. So cool, thank you. Um, so I, now I just gave away uh, what's in the box. So th there should be a Cobra Imp in there. Um, I thought that most of my Joes got sold, but there were some leftovers. I wanted the Imp... Um, to have a good home with your collection. Thank you. And I did not have the imp before, so thank you. Uh, maybe you could use the um, uh, the uh, maybe you can use the parts or file cards. If not, please feel free to donate them to another fan uh, who needs them to complete a piece of their collection. So um, if you see something in here that you need to complete something of yours, maybe I can uh, help with those. Uh, but I did not have the imp. That is going to be a big help to this channel and uh, will be something I will review in the future. Thank you, DJ. We look forward to uh, your new videos and keep up the great work, DJ and Lindsay. Well, DJ and Lindsay, thank you for that. Uh, thank you the, for the nar very nice letter. And so let's open this and see what we got. Uh, and we have right now, oh, a bunch of file cards and some card backs, including, hold on, let me show you this. I'm going to have to zoom it in so you can see. Hang on. Uh, we've got card backs for the motorized action packs. Or these things, the wind-up toys. And then there's um, Battle Force 2000 DJ. I did not have this card back. That helps. That helps. I also did not have the card back for Blizzard. I still need to complete Blizzard. I have Blizzard like... Uh, 90% complete, but he's missing like a couple of accessories. Comes with a lot of accessories. So there's a Blizzard card back, and dig that. That is a full card back for Tiger Force Roadblock. Dig it. That is so cool. Uh, thank you for those. Thank you for those. And then there's just a ton of final cards. And as you may know, or I don't know, may not know, um, I do need the file cards for my reviews. I know it's not true of every collector, but um, uh, for me, I need the file card in order for a, uh, a figure to be complete. Not every collector is like that. Some collectors consider a figure to be complete without the file card, and that's totally fine. Uh, there are lots of different ways to collect. Rock and roll. Um, but for me, for review purposes, uh, I decided early on oops, that I need a hooded Cobra Commander. Uh, I need the file cards to go along with them because I wanted to review the file cards as well. Um, so there's some, uh, some great ones in here. I can see some that I do already have, and so I'm going to see if I can help um, get these file cards to some other collectors who will need them uh, and try to 
uh, pass on the generosity. Although this is the uh, Destro file card with the Cobra emblem, and I don't think I had that variation. I've already reviewed Destro, and I don't think I had this file card, so this helps me thank you. And that may be an update I need to do on the Destro review. Uh, but there's Chuckles, uh, there's the Viper, plural Viper file card. There's one that I didn't have that'll be a big help, uh, Maul, the uh, Mauler Driver Heavy Metal, an uncut file card, really nice. Um, there's an uncut Mail Away Duke. Uh, so some of these will help me and some of these uh, will uh, go to help other collectors uh, complete their own uh, collection. There's Sergeant Slaughter and Lady J. Hey, these are great. These are great. There's Muskrat. Uh, Strato Viper to go along with the uh, extended uh, file card uh, profile that was sent to me uh, a moment ago. There's Iceberg. Uh, yeah, Major Blood. Um, this just this is cool. This is awesome. Wetsuit. Um, so uh, I'm, I, there are some local collectors and there's a local vintage toy shop uh, and so I'm, I may take some of these over there and see if uh, there are any that I might donate to some local collectors uh, to help complete their stuff. A really great set of file cards and some here that uh, will help me with my reviews so fantastic thank you. Okay, so let's look at what else is in here. There's more than the imp in here, guys. There's some cool stuff. I mean, right here, there's a watchtower, and it looks like it's in better condition than the watchtower I reviewed. Uh, so since I need to uh, do an update on that video, uh, this could help me with that. Uh, imp guns on a very colorful little insert there. Um, so... Uh, you package this very nicely, very well packaged. Uh, those are the missiles to the imp. Uh, this apparently is the, uh, yeah, it's the guns for the imp. Uh, very, very patriotic wrapping there, thank you. Um, yes, and that's tiny, and I'm going to wrap it right up again <laughs> so I don't lose it. I don't want to lose it two seconds after, after I open it. Uh, so, well done. A good way to keep it from being lost. Um, keep the missiles together with the little mines that go with it. Um, and here is the the main body of the imp. Uh, an intriguing vehicle, a small vehicle, but an intriguing one. Um, FormBX257 did a review of it, an excellent review. I have not reviewed it yet, obviously, because I didn't have it yet, but uh, this will help me get ready for a review at some point in the future. Uh, so fantastic, thank you, um, and we have more stuff. I want to make sure I don't lose anything in the bottom. Uh, perfect amount of packing material. <laughs> I see what you mean, you sent me some flag points. You sent me some flag points and some vehicle parts. Um, yeah, and that's like, this goes to the Rolling Thunder. Uh, this uh, goes, looks like a Sky Striker missile. Um, this, uh, I see like a Serpentor snake um, and a raft from, I want to remember what this is from. This is from like one of the 30th anniversary figures, I think. Um, and so, yeah, some stuff in here um, is stuff that I do need and that will help me. Um, and the rest of it, uh, I will try to find a good home for it. Um, I'm trying, you know, I, I uh, try to connect with G.I. Joe fans around the world, and that's awesome. But I actually haven't connected with as many local G.I. Joe collectors. And so this uh, uh, this may help be like a bridge uh, to help build a bridge to some local G.I. Joe fans um, because there may be some stuff in here that they need. Thank you again, DJ and Lindsay. Uh, for some reason, I'm working left to right. So uh, it looks like we have these uh, now and this one on top um, from uh, Mr. Mustachio. Did I read that correctly? Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, we have a letter uh, and thank you for these. I, I, this is like uh, some of the best parts of, of getting things from you guys is the, it's what you write. Uh, mention an email. Uh, so this is yes, this is one that uh, was yes an email. Okay, 
Uh, I don't want to give away what's in there just yet. Um, a few items you might enjoy. Uh, Viper, okay, so there's a Viper from the Viper Pit set, cool. The uh, paint apps are better, but the plastic is, oh, the plastic's not as good, huh? Since uh, that's after the era that uh, I collect, mostly, then that's new information for me. Backpack, uh, Tiger Force Lifeline, thought it uh, make a good pack for the Battle Commander Stalker. Okay, cool. Hey, neat idea, I hadn't thought of that. Might also work with the Viper, either way, uh, use it in good health. Okay. Thank you. Finally included a set of 18 figures. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to show these off. So I'm totally giving away what's in the box, but I don't mind that. Uh, so spoilers, 18 figures. Awesome. My recipes are on the back. Uh, good regards, uh, Matt, a.k.a. Mr. Mustachio. Um, oh, okay. This is what he's talking about. Face. Okay, okay, okay. It's a recipe for customs. Recipe for custom A-team figures. Yeah, okay, awesome. Okay, so now we've got to see it. Okay, now we got to see it. We've heard about it, now we get to see it. All right, so there's the Viper figure um, with, um, I think he is correct. The paint applications are, um, are really good on this. Let me take it out of the bag. Um, it's got, looks like more paint applications than the 1986 Viper figure, but how does that plastic feel? Yeah, you can, yeah, it does feel like cheaper plastic than the 86 figure, but really nice paint applications on it. I think you're absolutely correct about that. Um, so there's that and, and accessories. Uh, I don't want to accidentally spill those out, so I'm going to make sure he stays in there and doesn't get lost or broken. And then we have the the A-Team. So, is it possible to think about the A-Team or talk about the A-Team without hearing the theme song in your head? Uh, so these are those old 80s A-Team figures. There's there's B.A. Baracus and uh, uh, that's, that's, that's Howlin' Mad Murdoch there. Uh, I, I love these. They are so quaint and um, they're just kind of amusing how they built these. I mean, the head sculpts are are actually pretty good, I think. Uh, but they put them in, on bodies that just have no relation to how they appeared in the show at all. Um, and that's always been a source of amusement. And then there there's Face. So we got the whole team, all four of them. And it's, he's got uh, some of the accessories, which, um, which are G.I. Joe scale. Um, but uh, but not quite GI Joe, although that's a that's a straight copy of Short Fuse's uh, uh, mortar launcher there. But uh, yeah, so every once in a while, you know, if you collect GI Joe for a while, you'll come across these odd accessories. It's like they look like GI Joe accessories, but they're just not quite the same. Well, a lot of them are probably 18. Um, because they, you know, they were in that scale and they included like, what is this, the, uh, like, yeah, this is like the, the TNT detonator with the little handle, I don't want to break it, but it's got a little handle in there, you can detonate the TNT, it's really a team. If you ever want a really interesting and unique toy line, just look up the uh, 80s A team figures. Thank you, Mr. Mustachio. And let's uh, do this one because it's just uh, the next one on top. Uh, and this one does, I don't see a person's name on the box unless I'm not looking in the right place. And oh, okay, okay, okay. And yeah, I know what this is. I know what this is, and I know who it's from. This is from David, and I didn't check beforehand to see if David wanted me to use his full name on camera here, so we'll just go with David. Um, David sent to me um, Overlord and his dictator. This uh, Overlord, who appears to be complete there, and the dictator vehicle, which I've got to zoom in, so, it, I mean, it's in parts here, but I, I believe it's also all here. Uh, yeah, this unique vehicle, an unusual vehicle, um, 
Now I know this has been reviewed before. I think Joe Motion Videos 82 reviewed this, um, and I'll have to assemble it. But um, just an, an interesting and unique vehicle and figure uh, in GI Joe lore. You know, obviously I haven't reviewed it yet because I didn't have the figure and vehicle. Now I do, so I will get to it at some point in the future. But there's a lot to say about this guy. It's it's a strange little um, oddity in G.I. Joe. This figure, um, yeah, th there will be something to say about him when I do a review of him. So uh, thank you, David, for this. Uh, he did send, tell me he was going to send this to me, and he did, in fact, send it to me. So thank you for that. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't check with you beforehand to see if I could thank you by your full name, but thank you, David, anyways, uh, for this. Uh, really cool and will help with the channel because now I will be able to review this in the future. That finally brings us to the last box. And this, I see a letter. It says from Justin Luby. Justin Luby, uh, who uh, is on Patreon. He's a Patreon supporter. So thank you for that, Justin. And uh, this card, same from Justin Luby. Um, and uh, we've got some packing material here. Let's see what Justin sent. Uh, there's, um, oh, there's something wrapped in bubble wrap here. And it is, uh, it is well taped. So I'm gonna break out the knife uh, and slice this open carefully. All right, that should, that should do it. Uh, trying to be careful not to damage what's inside and also not to damage my fingers. Uh, well packed, I have to say very well packed um, and we have ah, yes okay okay so that is uh, that's parts from the mud fighter um, yeah and yes okay now let me get let me get more into this here okay yes it is it is it's yeah it's got dogfight in here um, and it's got, okay, I want to leave this out. It's got a, a, looks like a catalog in here. I'll make sure I uh, got everything. Awesome, awesome, okay. So um, I did have the Mud Fighter, but this looks like it might actually be a com complete Mud Fighter uh, with Dogfight, uh, the figure that came with it. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's his, and it has his pistol. I did not have the pistol uh, yet, and Dogfight appears to be in good shape, good condition. Uh, it's another really unique figure um, and a unique vehicle. So the uh, the blueprints must go with this. So these two must go together. So these must both be from Justin Luby. So I kind of wish I'd opened this one first. Sorry, I got them out of order. Um, but uh, I'm going to carefully cut some tape so that I can free the vehicle from the packing material. And there she is. There she is, the mud fighter. Uh, let's see. It's, it, it, you did pack it very well, very well done. Yeah, see this is, um, it, it is true that I had the mud fighter. This is nicer though. This is, this is just nicer and in much better shape than the one that I had. It looks like all the parts are in here. There's the, those uh, little wings with the wheels, the landing gear, uh, the rear propeller. Oh, there's the other side. Um, it's got a, a rear propeller on it. Uh, it goes on the back of the plane. And it's got all the like dozens and dozens of bombs that it comes with. Um, that is one thing that you may find as a challenge um, if you're trying to complete the Mud Fighter. It's quite impressive how many of these little silver bombs that it comes with. It comes with a lot of them. I believe that covers it. Uh, so that's everything that I got in July. And I, I just have to express my sincere thanks. Um, uh, I, I always struggle with trying to do the right thing on this channel and trying to be careful that I don't take too much from you um, and that I'm uh, that I'm giving more than I get. I don't want anyone to feel like they need to be sending stuff to me. The main reason I do it and the reason I don't intend to stop doing it despite any kind of criticism I might get for it is is the things that you send to me, the, the things that you say, uh, the things that you share um, in your letters, 
um, and these pieces of your own personal history that you share with me uh, is uh, so meaningful and it adds more meaning to this project because the project really is about you and us and kind of this journey that we're going on together not just the things that you send but but these letters th this is these are special uh, these are special and, and I will remember these for a long time. I'm going to keep them with me. I want to remind everyone once again that the important thing is the journey and the journey that we're taking together. And um, that's all I really want from you is to, for you to go on this journey with me. So if you are, thank you. Um, you do not have to send anything to me. Um, if you want to, uh, the address will again appear on your screen right now, um, but never feel like you have to. Uh, let's just let's go forward together. Let's do fun things together and let's enjoy G.I. Joe and maybe relive some great memories from when we were kids and maybe uh, create some new memories as well. So thank you to everyone who sent stuff this month. Um, if I get anything uh, next month, we'll do this again next month. If not, no worries. Uh, absolutely fine. So thanks again, everyone. We will see you soon. And remember, as I always say, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. But, you know, sometimes Larry Hama writes Captain America, and so, you know, only Captain America is Captain America. <laughs>